Today here I am at Forest Lawn Glendale and I've been here many times for many videos. So many celebrities are here. Michael Jackson, Walt Disney, Humphrey Bogart, Elizabeth Taylor. And I visited Michael's father, Joe Jackson, a couple of years ago. He's in this locked area and I was able to walk in with a maintenance worker who took me here. And right beside Joe Jackson, right really close, is Natalie Cole singer extraordinaire the beautiful natalie cole daughter of the great nat king cole so i did a video on joe jackson left but then i always wanted to do a video on natalie so i called my right hand man craig mm -hmm. craig you have family here correct i do mm -hmm. so that's how you're able to get into these areas that are not open to the public mm -hmm. right yes yes and we did Bogart together and a few other things. Sam Cooke, mm -hmm. Sammy Davis Jr. Yeah. Indeed. And I talked to you when we were talking yesterday on the phone. I said, well, well how much do you know about Nat King Cole? And you said, pretty much a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, a few tidbits. Yeah, but there. when you see a few tidbits, Craig, let's be honest. You know, you're an encyclopedia, your brain. <laughs> you know a lot. Mm, oh, I wish I could see humbling me but uh you do I try. I you try. do you rattle off facts about people that's it's incredible how you do it you know i can't remember where i parked my car half the time and you are just right on it with with the <laughs> memory and all these people this, and i know it's better than my own home yeah and all the people things. around you you uh, various grades you know you you like to look up their stories and things like that right absolutely absolutely yes, amazing definitely. so let's walk over to nally cole and take a look at her uh i remember it's a uh, well it's a beautiful headstone Right? Very mm -hmm. big. And yes. Joe Jackson right beside her. Let's go. Sure He's in an unmarked grave. Still. So, Craig, what do you know about Natalie Cole? I mean, for me, it's unforgettable. The album from 1991, the Grammy Award winning album. You know, she won Best New Artist at the Grammys in the 70s. And mm -hmm. just an incredible. What do you know about her? Oh, well, let's see. Apart from what you just said, the man, the <laughs> daughter of uh, Nat and Maria Cole. Right. And she did seem to do a, quite a number of different uh, styles of music, different genres. Right. And, uh, uh, She's from here too, right? She's from Los Angeles. She's born here. I think so, yes. You think I, so? I think if I remember rightly. Well, uh, you were telling me about the famous house, so. Nat King Cole's house is here in Hancock Park, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And that's the famous house. And I know Natalie yes, lived there. Yeah, so he would he would have certainly been here in the late 30s or 40s. So yes, I'm certain that uh, Natalie was born in L.A. Yeah. L.A. girl. Yeah, and she's right up here. We were just talking about her death. She died at Cedar sinai here in Los Angeles, and she died 2015, but she had had a kidney transplant in 2009. And the family said she had complications from that. So her official cause of death was, was uh, congestive heart failure. And here she is. Wow. So it reads, the unforgettable, Natalie Maria Cole, February 6th, 1950 to December 31st, 2015. The daughter of a king, mother of a prince, beloved daughter, sister, mother, friend, and entertainer. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, and I have remained faithful. Uh, her father's just past here, right? The yes. Court of Freedom. Mm -hmm, at the far opposite end. Is it the court, not the Court of Freedom, sorry, it's what's it called? The, uh, the Freedom Mausoleum. Freedom Mausoleum, right. Jesse Jackson attended her funeral, David Foster, Stevie Wonder, Mary Wilson, Gladys Knight. Very, very loved. Yes, you were just filming in. This is actually her son. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, the drummer boy, Robert Adam Yancey, a man who loved God. Sunrise, October 14th, 1977 to August 14th, 2017. 
A little while longer and the world will see me no more, but you will see me because I live, you will live also. And I believe he, he died of congestive heart failure as well, but with um, complications from amphetamine exposure. And I mean, Natalie Cole was also in somewhat famous for having battled addiction. She battled addiction for a very, very long time and overcame it and was an advocate for ad addicts and spoke quite openly about her addiction. Because she, I mean, she hit it big in the 70s. Like I said, best new artist at the Grammys. And then almost wasn't heard from for a while. Hmm. And yes. then 1991, she releases Unforgettable. And, of course, the lead track, she did a duet with her late father. They superimposed, well, for the video, they superimposed me in the video, but she sang over his track with him, so it was a father-daughter duet. And it, I, I mean, that was actually, so I was still a kid, but I did, was not working at the record store yet, but I remember when that came out. It was everywhere, that song. I mean, it was everywhere. Mm -hmm. You couldn't get away from Unforgettable. And it's a beautiful song. Her father's version came out when? Uh, 1951. Oh, so it was 40 years. Uh -huh. Yeah. She won nine Grammy Awards. I know that. And you were right about the, um, I was just remembering, because she did a cover of Pink Cadillac, the Bruce Springsteen song, in 1987 on her Everlasting album. And she was an R&B singer. Then she was a pop singer. And then how would, I mean, Unforgettable is jazzy. Well, how would you describe yes. the, the sounds of... Oh, well, let's oh. see. Like easy listening because easy it's listening a popular type of yeah thing, yeah it's the voices I mean it's time they're her and her father are just timeless voices so it's kind of uh, mm -hmm. you can't even put it into one genre yeah, it meshed so well together and I think they did the same thing with the uh, when I fall in love I follow up I, some years yeah they did another one she did another one right yeah when mm -hmm. I fall in love yeah mm -hmm. yeah no good formula. We're going to go visit Nat in a moment, but I was just thinking, what do you think is Nat's biggest song? Oh, wow, well, that's a good Because you, you grew up with Nat's music, you said, in, in your house. Mm hmm. Yes. I, I love that. I think it depends upon one's taste. Right. I, mean, I could rattle off a few. Rattle off a few of his songs. Let's see if I can rattle. L O B E, at Love is mm -hmm. for the. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, the Christmas song. Christmas to you. Right. I did that. I love you for sentimental reasons. Uh, uh, straighten up and fly right. Sweet Lorraine. Wow. Uh, it, going in order here. Yeah. Uh, Much and unforgettable, so can't, yeah. can't forget that. Uh, Mona Lisa. Too young. Uh, one more. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, yeah. <laughs> Give me one more. Okay. One, one, one. Start overloading here. I know, I know you can. I was <laughs> testing you. A lot of rock for Natalie. <laughs> this is one of the few times it's like, okay, I got to go. Uh, okay. Because I'm trying to think of those that more or less original as opposed to something that had already been. Right. Which you sometimes hear like a background of uh, some film. I think Sleep is in Seattle had one of those. Which, sorry, which song? Stardust. Stardust. Uh -huh. Right. Or something like that. And, uh, think of Sleep is in Seattle and hear that. Too. Uh, comes, crops up in the background. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, seems since Seattle had a real lovey, jazzy type of love soundtrack. I forgot mm -hmm. about that movie. But there's her son. There's Natalie. But so what's interesting about this area is I covered before. What's very interesting is right here. This is Joe Jackson, Michael Jackson's fa the father of the Jacksons, the patriarch. Right here, right. 
Is it this one or this this one? Right where the flower vase is. Right, right. So he's... It's in this, this way. So, oh, so he's... Mm, it's kind of like a top. Oh, oh so the headstone oh, is here. That's oh, where I, it would be placed, yes. Kind of in line. Yeah. With these. So he's right here. You can see, like, for instance, the way it is here. Uh, right. These have, uh, yeah, I just learned that. I Well, because I was wondering, I always thought the, the vase was at the head of the head of the casket, because that's how it is with uh, a lot of my family's graves back in Canada. It's at the top, hmm. above the headstone. Oh, so I was getting confused, and I've been to a, needless to say, I've been to a lot of graves. So that's kind of more in the middle, lining up with the headstone. So Joe is right here. Wow. Uh, and still no headstone. You wonder why that is? Well, probably trying to keep it uh, all sequestered. Yeah, quiet. And maybe because of the controversies. Right. You I mean, notice that he's not buried near Michael. The, the, uh -huh. yeah. I figure most of the family are going to uh, be interred there. Yeah. Down the line, but uh, as soon as it gets to, it's like the outcast. Yeah, I showed some shots of the great mausoleum as we came by in uh, Holly Terrace. That's where Michael is. I slowed down to show where he is. And yeah, it, this is, I mean, it's a far walk, but it's even a far drive. Because this cemetery is huge. You mm -hmm. know, you know you're, you're looking a half a mile away, I would yep. say. Easily. Easily. Easily that, yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I got uh, 300 plus acres. At, uh, it's 300 plus acres, this place? The whole... Uh, Cemetery itself, yes. That is wild. That is wild. And 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 it's I mean, Glendale, it's beautiful area, right smack dab between Hollywood, Pasadena, everything. This is prime real estate, so the graves here are not mm -hmm. they're not cheap. Yeah, it seems they've been more costly in this part than they even in some of the other surrounding right. lying areas. All right, so shall we take a walk over to Nat? Sure thing. Go visit Nat King Cole. Mm -hmm. Okay. By all means. I knew you wouldn't let me down when when yeah, you said let's I, stop I and see this one in a few other people yes. on the way. This uh, is few surprises. Nat Kelly Cole. This is Nat's adopted son here in the private locked area, right? Yes. What does that yeah. read? Dire misfortune and personal tragedy is a fact of many people's lives, but here lies a young man blessed with all things, a child of God, and a man of light who carried his cross as well as he knew how, and who came to know himself. God bless all those who read these words. So I believe I was just, because I didn't know we were coming here, I think he thought he had uh, HIV which, and then AIDS, is how Nat Kelly Cole passed away. Wow. wow. So his three daughters, two adopted children. And uh, Kelly would be one of them. All right, on our way to Nat King Cole.
So Craig, we were just looking around at some of the graves here. We're gonna come back and do a separate video because you're blowing my mind with some of the people that are here. Too, and too, good. too many. And a lot of people are gonna write in the comments right now, you know who's right beside Nat King Cole, you know who's right, and I'm not gonna, I know, because we're here, <laughs> but it's wild. So we'll come back and do a, and do a follow up. We have to, there's too many people, yeah. Wow, but there's Nat King Cole right up there. Sanctuary of Heritage in the Freedom Mausoleum. Yeah, so what can you tell me about uh, Nat King Cole that I wouldn't know, or our viewers wouldn't know? You grew up listening to his music? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see, um, I think he was uh, born in uh, see, Birmingham, I think, um, on it was uh, St. Patrick's Day. Oh, wow. 1919. And he really started out as a pianist. Much of his father was, I think, a Baptist minister. Mm -hmm. And... So that one learned piano and gotten into jazz, I guess must was far as consternation. Right. And it, it, he started out as a pianist. That was really his fort. Right. I say forte, but the fort is apparently the proper way to say it. Right. Okay. And <laughs> uh picking But uh as long down the line uh, if I remember it was a, I think it was called the Swanee Inn mm -hmm. down on La Brea. Hollywood, where he was playing with this little uh, combo, the right. thing called Trio, and uh, someone was there a little inebriated at the bar saying, hey, can you sing something, please? And how about a little Sweet Lorraine? And Matt explained that really wasn't what he did, right. except to, to himself, but the fellow was very insistent, right. so... And Matt obliged and sang Sweet Lorraine for him and uh, apparently went over well, although he did not get a tip. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, down the line, uh, it seemed that uh, like several other musicians, uh, some of his voice just happened to uh, take precedence. Over some of like you have Karen Carpenter who started as a drummer. Right. She got uh, more well known for singing. George Benson, I think, was another, right. and Phil Collins. Yeah. And uh, so it got to the point where that he would no longer sit at his piano, but he would just uh, out, the, out front uh, standing with the microphone. And, and, uh, and he had, uh, I remember, he had, uh, like, I think, the first television show hosted by a black person. Oh, really? Mm -hmm, back in, in the mid 50s. That's amazing. 50s. And it lasted only a short, a short time, hardly even a season. I think uh, for some reason soon. Folks in certain parts of the country got a little bit uh, right. Did not like that. Over that. Ridiculous. And so uh, got canceled. Uh, right. uh, I think uh, Matt said something from the perspective. Uh, uh, Madison Avenue was afraid of the dark. <laughs> really? Is that what he said? Uh -huh. Yeah. He had some. He had some good lines. He had some good quotes throughout his life. Where did he? And but he lived only to forty-five. Right? Was it 45 years old? It was about 48. Mm -hmm. Yes, 45. 45, yes. Yeah, and died here in Los Angeles. Right? Yes, I, think, I think it was at uh, Santa Monica. John's House Health Center. In Santa Monica, am I correct? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. And I know um, there was a huge, huge thing when he passed away, right? Like, I mean, it was... Mm -hmm. yeah, it was yeah. a major, major funeral as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm interred right in here. But one of the greatest vocalists pretty much the world has ever seen. Mm -hmm. And I did not know yes. that. Started off as just a pianist, and not just a pianist. Started off as a pianist, but you know, became known for his vocals. Okay, so that was the great Nat King Cole and Natalie Cole. Thank you, Craig. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we're going to um, come back, and because there's, I mean, I always know that there's people. But you just fill me on um, two or three other people that are in that. Freedom Mausoleum alone that we mm -hmm. should uh, we should yeah. definitely check out. At least. All right. Thank you, my man. Absolutely. In your time. All right. Recipes, Nat King Cole, Natalie Cole, Nat Kelly Cole. Peace. Out.
Reserve, folks. <laughs>